Hello everyone. What if I were to tell you that the Earth is much bigger than the circumference of 24,901 miles and that nothing about this map is correct? Not the land masses, not the orientation, not the distances. They have been lying for more than 500 years about the shape of the Earth and what it really looks like. So it is my duty to debunk the heliocentric model, the globe, and this map. But first, let me give you a history lesson. At the time of Chris Columbus, this was the known world. Europe, Northern Africa, India, and parts of the Far East, China. They of course had the uh, Silk Route or the Silk Road from Europe all the way to China. During the Age of Discovery, the Europeans always had cartographers on board their ships. They would draw what they saw. Of course, they could only um, map out uh, the, the land masses by line of, line of sight. They would sail along the coast and plot what they saw. And they had to use their imagination to fill in the interior of the continents, the, the land masses because at the time they had no way of knowing real distances and the shapes. Then in 1569, Gerardus Mercator produced the map of the world, which became very popular in Europe. And a few years later, this, this map became the standard he also had to improvise and fill in the land masses just by using his imagination. Because in 1569, they had no way of knowing the interior of the American continent or even Asia. And funnily enough, time and date calm used the Mercator map on their website today. Time and date com are the gatekeepers of the heliocentric model. They use it as their time zone map. And there is so much wrong with this map, which I will explain a bit later. They are also hiding huge amounts of land, especially the north and south from 60 degrees to 90 degrees, north and south. Thousands of miles of ice and land are being hidden. Similarly, they do not show the land to sea ratio. They tell us that the oceans cover 70% of the earth and land 30%. So what they have done is when they produce maps, they simply flip it around by showing us 70% land and 30% ocean. People don't comprehend how big the Pacific Ocean is. It is huge. You must understand the following information about this map. The Earth is divided into 24 time zones, right? So with a circumference of 24,901 miles, each hour on this map must span 1,037 miles. 
you must understand that to un um, to get this to correctly read this map. They have compressed the continent of Asia into such a tiny area of land. They made it so small. For example, look at this time at uh, Shanghai, China. Chongqing, China. Urumqi, China. They are about four time zones away, but they show the same time. They have compressed the large country of China into this small, such a small area. Another anomaly is uh, here, Urumqi and Howid, Mongolia. It should be the other way around because uh, Hovid is more easterly than Urumqi and the, the time is the other way around, they flipped it. And another example, Moscow in Russia and Anadia, Russia and the, on the far eastern coast, they tell us the distance is 3,848 miles with a flight time of uh, seven and a half to eight hours. But the problem is that they're 10 time zones away, 10 hours difference. So they should be at least, at least 9,000 miles apart, not 3,848 as given. What they're also doing is fucking with the, uh, with the distance and the flight times. If you've ever flown on an air aircraft, on a modern aircraft, then you will see a display in front of you where you can watch movies and stuff and that display also gives you information about the aircraft, the outside temperature, the airspeed, and the ground speed. So what these fuckers are doing is they're using, uh, when they calculate time and distance, what they're doing is they're using the airspeed and not the ground speed. The airspeed is almost half of that ground speed. So, in reality, the distance from Moscow to Anadir is anything between seven to ten thousand miles. Like I said, not three thousand eight hundred forty-eight, as given by them. There are governmental and semi governmental organizations that uh, oversee air travel. For example, in the UK, it's a uh, civil aviation authority. And in the US, it's FAA. And there are other bodies like IATA, which is the International Air Transport Association. And these are all overseen by International Civil Aviation Organization. And surprise, surprise, they are part of the uh, United Nations. So everyone, every single country reports to ICAO of the United Nations. So, in conclusion, a far, a far larger Earth debunks the globe, debunks the heliocentric model, debunks the circumference of the Earth, therefore the radius. Nothing about the globe works. The 
heliocentric model had its run for just over 500 years and it's time for it to stop. It's time for the authorities and all the educational establishments everywhere, all over the globe, <laughs> pardon the pun, to teach the truth from now on. And that is the earth is flat and stationary. <laughs>